go chase it. <laughs> Let me stop. I love that song. But don't forget to like, subscribe. See you in the video. Hey, what up? It's your girl, Kenna Chantel, in the building, back with another video. Today, I'm going to be doing a story time about the time I lost my phone. <laughs> but this was back in October when we were having a Lazy Red event. By the way, go check out my wig video, the review. I, Cause I mentioned laser red that go check that out and like and subscribe. But anyways, um, back in October, we were having laser red event that night, and I didn't have anything red to wear. So me and my friend we went to the mall to go, um, go check a couple stores out to find something to wear. So when we got there, I had to use the bathroom really bad. So me and her we both went to the restroom, and then when I went to the bathroom the um stall i used to set my phone on top of the toilet thing like where the, you get the tissue i set it up there and um i don't know i must have been in a rush so i walked out without it not knowing that i did so i went went around about my day we went to a couple stores but then we ended up in forever 21 i found a couple of things i liked um a couple of things i tried this dress on um, this red dress and whatnot so then i go to put my phone out to the things that I had in my hands, calculate the total of what I had in my hand, and then I realized I didn't have it. I was like, oh my God, where's my phone? At this time, I wasn't really tripping, because I'm like, oh, it's probably in the dressing room where I um, tried that red dress on. So I went back over there. Somebody was in the stall when I went there, so I asked the employee. I was like, um, has anybody seen a, um, a phone in the stall in here? She was like, um, no. And then she just asked the lady inside. She was like, um, do you see a phone in there? And the lady's like, no, I don't. She opened the door and I looked and what's in there. So I'm like, oh my God, where is my phone? And then I was like, boom. Yep, I went to the bathroom. Let me go check that. Let me go check out that out. So the stuff I had in my hand, I asked my friend, could she hold it? And then I ran to the bathroom. I'm like, I'm like running. I'm just like, oh my God, please let my phone be in there. So I ran in the, um, I went to the bathroom. I looked in the stall. Y'all, it was gone. Oh my God. I was like, Oh my God, I just got that phone. Are you kidding me? I'm like, dang, iPhones is not cheap either. So I'm like, oh my God, I just got that phone. I was like, like thinking, we got laser red of it tonight. And I ain't got no phone, take no pictures or nothing. And I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, why? <laughs> I was so sad, y'all. I was like devastated. I'm like devastated. I'm like, why? So then I went back to the store and I'm like, it wasn't in there. So I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm like, I don't know where my phone is. No, I'm like, somebody got no, I was like, somebody got me. I'm like, they got they they got them a new iPhone 7. Yep, they they good, they got them a new phone. I just knew my phone was gone. So then we got in line. Mind you, I'm, all I'm thinking about right now is this phone. I'm like, oh my God, where's my phone? And um, the line take taking forever because the cause one machine was taking debit cards and one person was taking cash. And half the people in line had debit cards and a few people had cash, so the line was taking forever. So then I am asked the lady in front of me, the lady that was in the stall, um, that took a look at my phone. I was like, can I borrow your phone for a second to call my phone? She's like, sure. So I called it. No answer. I'm like, man. So then I'm like, oh, maybe, maybe I didn't take it in the bathroom. Maybe I left it in the car. And then, um, so be it. Maybe I left it in the car. So I asked my friend, I was like, can you hold my stuff and just pay for my, I gave her gave my debit card to pay for my stuff. She will just wait or whatever. And then after a while, the line was just dragging. She's like, yeah, just go, just give me, your, give, me your, give me your stuff. And go, so I ran to the car. It was not in there. I'm like, oh my God, my phone is gone. I'm like, oh my gosh. So by the time I get back there to the line, she's at the front of the line, and um, I check out. So then someone told me to go to the um, my security, and then and on the way to my security, I'm like, Lord, please let somebody turn my phone in. Let somebody just, like, I kind of say hard to return it, Lord, please. So when I get there, I'm like, I went up to the desk. I'm like, has anybody turned a phone? He's like, what kind? I said, iPhone. And he put, I was like, yes, thank you. I was like, yes, that's mine. He's like, I just need you to type in the number or whatever. I was like, okay. So I tried to put, do my fingerprint. It ain't work. I tried like three times. 
And then finally, I just put my code in, and then it worked. I'm like, oh, my. so then I had to sign for it or whatever. And then on my left, and then once I, when I was going back to my, where my friend was, she was asking the security guard or my security, have anybody turn the phone? My, she didn't know what kind of phone I had. But then I showed her I had it. She was like, oh, yes. And I was so happy. So that just tells you, like, there are people out there that return things because I just knew my phone was gone. I'm like, I'm, I'm gone. I just knew it was gone. And then I was just so thankful because nowadays people don't, people be stealing and don't return things, return stuff now. So I was thankful. Ever. Shout out for whoever turned my phone in. Thank you. I am so grateful. That's what's up. You're the real MVP. A. Hey. But, um. It was funny though because that the last Sunday and my um, my pat my preacher was, my pastor was just talking about how he found some money on the ground like a whole bunch of money and he picked it up like oh thank you God it's like a blessing he was like but then he got convicted he got convicted that he ended up turning it in and then they told him that if nobody claimed it within twenty four hours or forty eight hours he can come back and get it but you never know somebody could drop that money or been in a rush in a fail so like you like. Like return things because you never that come come back to you and when something happens to you like that you dump somebody you will wish somebody return return it or you drop your phone or you leave it somewhere you will hope that somebody at the kind of heart return it so do unto others as you would have them do to you because if that was you if that was you you wouldn't want that to happen to you because you want somebody to return it so keep be mindful of that but that's it for this video so until next time peace.